So this taro plant you can see here behind me is growing way too big for this small grow bed. So I'm gonna try moving it to the grow bed, which is right over there. So hopefully I can take it out successfully. We'll see how it goes. You can see how big it's getting. So we'll see how it goes when I take it out. Maybe break a few or make a few other plants or something. But this thing is uh, getting way too big for this small grow bed. Hopefully this minor lettuce doesn't get destroyed in the process. Here you can see the taro plant. That was tough. It took me like 10 minutes to take it out. That's pretty cool. Those are roots from a taro plant. And a big overgrowing taro. Maybe I can break some of these off, I guess. I'll see. But then I'm gonna plant it right here. And then I still have plenty of stuff to plant there. And then maybe tonight I'll plant basil here. I'll pull out all those failed ones. These ones are starting to go though. They didn't grow until like recently when everything started to pick up or after this started to grow like crazy. So I might, I'll plant some basil over here. But you can see how that looks. I did try pulling one off, not very successful. It's got one root, maybe it'll start, we'll see. Here you can see the transplanted taro plant. That was tough. It will probably droop a lot tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully since it's quite big and had a lot of, has a lot of roots there, it can recover. But this grow bed is fairly new, so it might not have any nutrients in here. Or probably doesn't, so we'll see how it goes. So we moved it from there to here. And then I planted these two little ones. I tried to break it off, as I mentioned. Didn't really work so well. This is the morning after transplanting the taro plants in here. So you can see it is quite droopy right now. So hopefully it does better. And then I also planted some basil over here. Still have a lot more basil plants. But I have all those little ones there and it will still fill up all of this basically. This is the end of the first day or almost the end of the first day of this taro bean in here. You can see the leaves completely curled up and dried out which is I mean pretty cool but it's unfortunate so hopefully it comes back and it's still got plenty of water in there just like the other one so it's kind of weird The taro is still looking pretty sad after a few days. You can see the leaves are still pretty dry. So I'll cut off most of those dry ones. And then I'll update you later on how it is going. Hopefully it recovers. Then I also planted a bunch of basil over here. So I'll plant some more. And fill up this area. Well, that's all for that video. It was just a simple video on me moving this taro plant or transplanting the taro plant. So hopefully it does recover, which I'll update you later on. But well, that's pretty much all for that. If you have any questions, comments, remember to leave them below. Remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I just cut off most of those dry leaves, so we'll see how it goes. As I said, I'll update you later on. It's kind of weird though, a matter of transplanting it from there to there caused all the leaves to pretty much dry out. We had quite a shock or something. Or I did something wrong. I mean, it's just moving it from one place to another.